This is the first week on the job for the Dallas Police Department's newest class of Academy graduates, incidentally. Recruits greatly needed by that agency, struggling with staffing. But as Andrea Lucia learned, one of the new officers has already quit. This after the city spent tens of thousands of dollars getting her trained and certified. Why is that? Andrea live at DPD headquarters with the rest of the story at 10. Andrea? Now, several sources tell CBS 11 that new recruit dropped off her equipment here and resigned on Monday, what would have been her very first day patrolling Dallas streets. But she is hardly the only one who has quit so quickly after being trained and certified at the expense of Dallas taxpayers. After nine months in the Dallas Police Academy, 34 recruits graduated Friday, finally ready to hit Dallas streets. But by Monday, one had already resigned. I'm not, I don't know if surprise is the right word. I'm certainly disappointed. Deputy Chief of Personnel and Training Bill Humphrey recalls another recruit this year who left two days before graduation. Said she was going to work for Allen Police Department, uh, City of Allen. Okay. But they, they had hired hers. City records show at least nine officers who graduated from the academy in the last year are no longer with the police department. Two quit within two days of graduation, another after just six. We're paying for them to be trained as well as we're paying them a salary while they're being trained and then they're lo and we're losing them. The city of Dallas says it spends about $90,000 to put a single recruit through the academy. But there's nothing requiring those new officers to stay and work for Dallas police rather than jumping ship to higher paying departments in the suburbs. I've got a lot of residents in Dallas that are like, what? You know, we can't re require this. Essentially, we are um, paying for other municipalities officers to get their TECO license. Dallas Fire Chief David Coatney told council members today he's also losing recruits after the city spends $46,000 on each of them to go through the fire academy. They start to see that the surrounding cities around us are paying between ten and $20,000 more a year for the same profession. They're moving away from us after we've trained them. Well, generally, some of those smaller departments require that their officers or firefighters be certified before they get hired on. Council member Jennifer Gates said she would like to see the city be able to recoup some of those certification costs if new recruits do leave quickly after graduation. Some Dallas police officers, or officers though, argue that if the city paid them better, they wouldn't be so tempted to leave. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.